You guys, I have a really cool little hack for you. Look at that. How cute is that? Okay guys, so I did just get back from Trader Joe's. It was so slow, it was actually so nice. I think I'm gonna go from now on. Monday's at nine o'clock because there's nobody there and I could easily just quietly shop around. Of course, every Trader Joe's trip, I have to get some flowers. They had so many guys, I could not decide which ones I wanted to get, but I went with my go-to. I always get these flowers, you guys. I think they're chamomile. Let me look. Yes, chamomile, here we go. They're like $3 each and they're just so pretty and they smell amazing. So I'm gonna cut these and put these in my kitchen today. The next thing I got is this Kung Pao chicken. You guys, this is super, super good. This is like a perfect quick dinner for just those you know nights that I don't really feel like making a whole lot. I just make this with rice, so good. And then this one, the barbecue teriyaki chicken, another go-to. They're so cheap, you guys. They're just a couple dollars. And then this, I've actually never tried, but I love margarita pizza. So I thought this would be really good to kind of split up between Tyler and I for dinner and then have like a salad with it. So I'm gonna try this. And then waffles, frozen waffles, the blueberry ones. Tatum girl loves waffles in the morning. It's like her go-to. She'll just grab it and just eat it as she walks around and plays. And then a head of lettuce. I've been meaning to film this video for so long, you guys, so long. I've been meaning to decorate my kitchen for spring and basically we're in summer now, so I'm a little late. I actually just took down my Easter stuff. Easter was like, what, two or three weeks ago? So I need to get on it. So I'm going to decorate my kitchen. I'm going to clean up stuff, add a little spring, you know, flair to my kitchen. I have a really cute base that I'm going to put these flowers inside. I actually showed you them in my last, or them, I showed you the base in my last vlog, but I still have to put it up, you guys. As I'm putting this together, it's really pretty, but I don't know if I like it. Like I feel like it needs almost like a very different flower in it. <laughs> I don't know you guys. I think it's just like too much green from the chamomile down here. I don't know. I don't know if I like it in here. Like this type of flower. I feel like with this face, it would almost be better with, cause this face is pretty tiny as I'm putting this together. I'm not sure if I like it. Maybe it's like with the pattern, maybe I'll just use this as like decoration, maybe on my console table. I don't know, I'm still deciding. Let me grab another vase so we can compare the two. Okay, so this is like a pretty white one. I'll see kind of like if I like, see, I feel like that looks way cleaner and better. I don't know, maybe it's the shape of this one. Something is just throwing me off. I mean, it's pretty, don't get me wrong, I'm being really picky. And then this one is my go-to vase. I feel like I use this so much, but I wanted something a little different. Like, look how pretty this is. It's so pretty with the copper, and it has like a bit of texture. It's like, <laughs> this is almost on its last leg, you guys. I don't know if you can tell, but the copper is getting all rusted. I mean, I actually kind of like it all rusted. It doesn't look so perfect, but, oh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna use the copper. That's, it's bigger too. 
I just feel like, like that looks awkward. Or I see this like a part of shelving if you have like a pretty spring like shelf, just using this as decoration. Maybe not necessarily putting flowers in it, but as I'm looking at it, I can't, can't help but think this one is just so much better, the copper. Okay, so I'm thinking that's enough flowers in there and I actually have a lot extra. When you buy these, you get them and you don't think you're getting as many flowers because the bunches are almost like super tight so you can't tell if you're getting enough when you're just getting one but I have so much extra, you guys. Like, look at all this. There's no way all that would fit in there and... This thing, you guys, I think it's so pretty. Like how cute is this little basket? This is gonna go on my dining table. And I was thinking of putting a baby's breath in here, but now seeing that I have so much extra of these, I'm thinking of literally just tossing them like, that. how cute is that? It's so like cottage core. I'm like totally feeling it. So I'm thinking I'll just kind of fluff them up, maybe trim them a little bit, but just put them, just like this on my dining table. I think it's so pretty. I right now have this giant dough bowl. I'm kind of over it. I've been using that dough bowl every season for the last like year or two, honestly. It's been a while. So I kind of wanted to switch it up, especially for spring. I thought this basket was super pretty. They will kind of die out fast, obviously, because I don't have them in water, but these don't, I'm trying to remember if these, like baby's breath, you know dries like exactly how it is when it's fresh. These I'm not sure, they might shrink up a little bit, but we'll kind of see with these how they dry. But for now, I think they'll last a couple days just like this. And then I can kind of dry them and use them later. You guys, I am using the Acorn Spice spray and every time I spray this honestly it like brings me back to a fall clean and decorate with me video it's like the smell it reminds me of that time so I'm a little sad spraying this but honestly I've had this probably for two falls now like honestly two, more than two because we're almost in summer so I'm gonna use all this up in case you're wondering yes I'm using the acorn spice fall Meyer spray but it smells so good and I need to use it up and then of course I'm using my checkered microfiber cloths. I do get questions about where I got this. These are from TJ, you guys. They come in a multi-pack. I'm obsessed with them. Love them so much. For the longest time, I was using paper towels and I've got comments saying like, I shouldn't use those. And I never thought about it. I was just using paper towels to clean off my counters. Like I didn't really think about it. And then I found these and I'm like, oh, they're cute. And they honestly clean so much better like for messes and little like stuck on food pieces, they clean up so good over paper towels. And then this is the dough bowl that I was talking about. You guys, I've literally had it on this table for so long. I'm just kind of over it. I might find another place for it or honestly just save it for the fall time. So I'm going to tuck this away. And then that way I can lay down my tablecloth, which is drying right now. And then I could put that really pretty basket of flowers on this dining table. But first, as I'm looking at you guys, I'm probably going to have to clean off this mirror because you can see smudges from my little kiddos. So let's do that first.
Okay, side note. Can we just talk about how cozy Kylo looks? His little feet are like rested on the door. I love how he just like matches my house perfectly. Like the black and white. Oh, there he is. He is so cozy. We rescued him and he is just clearly so happy with us. It has been a hot minute since I've taken everything off of my countertops and wiped it down. Typically throughout the week, like my, you know, daily clean or my weekly clean or whatever, I'll take my cloth and wipe just around, I'm like too lazy or busy or whatever to take off the stuff and actually wipe underneath it. So we're gonna do that. I have a coffee maker back in here. I'm gonna move everything around and then um, give it a good wipe down and then I can add some new spring decorations on my countertops. so bad taking these down because these are Brielle's cute little pictures but I have not wiped down as you can see I have not wiped down the fridge in so long so I'm going to put these back after I give this a good wipe down Okay, and this you probably remember from my last vlog. I said I was gonna take this basket. I love it so much, you guys. How pretty is that woven basket? I think it's perfect for spring or summer. And I just took a bunch of my dried baby's breath and I put them in there and I'm going to hang it on that little hook right there. But this is a little, this little thing is bothering me. So I'm going to snip that off. Just like that. All right, so. There we go, I think it's so cute. So like I said, the baby's breath, I still have the tag on it too. It's from Hobby Lobby. The baby's breath I've had forever. I usually get baby's breath from Trader Joe's and I just let it dry out. And I thought this was a perfect little vessel to put it in. It is like a little very fluffy, but I'm just gonna move over these hands and just hang it right there. And then these roses, I don't really want to let them go. I love them. I love dried roses. I think I might eventually move them. But for now, since it fits the whole theme of flowers, I might keep them. I don't know. I don't know if that's too much. I just kind of scoot them over here and then move this here. Let's just have these. There we go. Cute. I just wiped off the counters. <laughs> Dried baby's breath literally gets everywhere. So I don't want to touch it anymore, but I, oh yeah, see, oh no. But I think that looks really pretty for spring. I love the color of the basket with the copper utensils. Love it, so cute. This is the old utensil holder that I had. Um, I'm going to take out these utensils and put them in this pretty big, checkered pot, which I'm totally obsessed with. And then finally, next to these pots and pans and the flower basket, I'm putting this right here. I have this pretty little copper teapot and then I'm doing my Google Home. But you guys, I have a really cool little hack for you. If you have a Google Home, you can buy 
a frame for it. So literally you can buy any, I believe it's four by six. I'm almost positive. This is a four by six frame. I got it on Amazon. I just looked you guys, unfortunately, they do not have this specific one anymore because it is the checkered. I know it's like a little frame of my face. I know it might be a little much with the checkered right here. I actually bought this way before I bought that and I totally forgot that I bought this because I was on TikTok and I saw a girl used a four by six frame for her Google home and I was like, wait a second. That is genius. So what she did in the video was she took a four by six frame. I forget, I think hers was gold and like vintage, which is super cute too. But I came across this one on Amazon. It was like next day delivery and I had to try it. And so what she did was she put on the back little sticky tabs. I believe it was like those, I'm blanking out on the name. Command strips, they're called command strips. I totally forgot. So she put command strips on the back of her frame and then actually stuck it to the Google Home. I don't have those right now and I actually can just lean it up against it and it works the same. It's not very sturdy so if I bump it, it'll fall but it's not the end of the world. So all you do is you take out the glass part, you take out all that stuff. I just kind of bent these little things back so they're not in the way and then watch this you guys. It's the coolest thing ever. So the only thing, the only thing, there we go, I adjusted it a little bit. So the only thing that it does, which it might bug you, it might not, it doesn't bug me personally, but it makes it on dark mode because basically you're covering up the sensor where it can see if it's light or dark. Honestly, it doesn't bother me. I don't watch this a whole lot. I'll just kind of ask it questions throughout the day, miss, listen to music, stuff like that. So I don't really need the brightness all the way up. I don't mind it in dark mode, but it totally elevates it, you guys. So it's actually coming up really dark on camera for some odd reason. It's normally not that dark. And of course, like I have just random pictures scrolling through and that one is like, there we go. It's a little bit lighter. It doesn't bother me that it's, you know, on the darker mode. I think it's awesome, you guys. And it looks so much cuter. Like once you see it, there we go from afar. Like how genius is that? Love it. I thought it was like so ugly, but once you put a frame on it, it just looks like it's decor. All right, everyone. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.